Welcome back everybody and welcome to today's lesson which is called calculating pressure. This is a lesson for key stage three and by the end of today's lesson we're going to hopefully be able to calculate the pressure of an object and hopefully be able to apply our understanding of that to different contexts. Okay let's try and see if we can work out what this word pressure means. Let's take this drawing pin and if against that drawing pin we pushed against it we'd be using a force with our thumb up against our drawing pin and that force would exert a pressure onto that drawing pin. What happens if we turn the pin round and we got the pointy bit pointing towards us and let's say we put our thumb up against it with exactly the same force would the pressure on the drawing pin be exactly the same or would it be different? Well we're not sure about that yet are we? We don't know whether it's higher or lower but one thing we can say is that the area that your thumb is hitting on the drawing pin is different and therefore pressure is going to be linked not just to the force that's applied but the area over which it's applied if you look at the pin at the top the thumb would hit a larger surface area than on the diagram at the bottom but which one has the greatest pressure let's say let's have examine that next okay so here are our two situations we've got a we've got b we've got a larger area we've got a smaller area but which one has the greatest pressure We've already seen that pressure has got something to do with force and got something to do with the area over which that force is applied. And the equation that we use is pressure is equal to force divided by area. Force is measured in newtons and area is centimeters squared in this lesson. So let's put some numbers to it. Let's say we're pushing with the same force, 20 newtons. We're going to do that to keep it fair. And the area on the top example, we're going to say is 0.75 centimeters squared. And the area on the bottom example is much smaller. That pin is much smaller than, than the area on the pin on the top. So we're going to call that 0.025 centimeters squared. So let's put the numbers into the calculation. On, on example A, it would be force, which is 20, divided by the area, which is 0.75, which would give us a pressure of 26.67 newton centimeters squared. In the second example, we're going to have 20 divided by the area which is much smaller 0.025 and if we put that into a calculator we get an answer of 800 which is much much bigger than the first answer so that proves that on um, the situation b there has a much much bigger pressure and that's why the pin would go into your finger and why it hurts there's a much bigger pressure exerted okay time for you to have a go I've left the equation on the screen for you. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. And the question is, a builder swings a hammer with a force of 275 newtons, and he hits a nail with an area of 0.85 centimeters squared. What pressure exerted on the nail? Get yourself a piece of uh, paper and a pen, and write the question down and see if you can answer it. Pause the video now, and we'll check our work in a second. Okay, so, the working out would look like this. Pressure is equal to force, 275, divided by our area of 0.85. And if we put that into a calculator, the pressure on the nail would be 323.53 Newton centimeters squared. Well done if you got that right. Check your working if you didn't. Okay, time for a little further practice. There are three questions for you to answer on the screen. And you're gonna pause the video in a second and answer them on paper. Before you do that, just be careful on question three. It says 1.2 kilonewtons. Well, there are 1,000 newtons in one kilonewton, and the area is in meters. It says 2.5 meters squared. Well, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. Your answer must be in newtons per centimeter squared. Pause the video now, have a go at the questions. Okay, how did you do? The answer to question one is 16.67 newtons per centimeter squared. The answer to question two is 0.039 newtons per centimeter squared. And for question three, the first thing that you would have to do is convert 1.2 kilonewtons into 1,200 newtons. And the area of 2.5 meters squared into centimeters squared would be 250 centimeters squared. So our answer would be 4.8 newtons per centimeter squared. Well done if you got that right. That don't look good, does it? I think you're all aware now from what we've been looking at 
that that boy has a really big weight. That's his force. It's not his mass, not how heavy he is, but his weight is a force. And his weight is so large that as he was lowered onto that spike, which has a very, very small area, that the pressure would be so large that he would slide on to that spike and the spike would go through his body. Not good. But you've probably all seen this situation, a picture of somebody lying on a bed of nails. So he's laying on those really big nine inch nails and yet those nails are not piercing his body and he's not sliding through them. And the reason for that is although his weight, his force is really large, that force is spread over a larger area of uh, those nails and therefore the pressure is, is actually spread out and lowered. Okay, so let's think about the idea with the nails and see if we can apply it to another context. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to explain why football boots are designed the way they are with the studs on the bottom. And I'd also like you to take it a step further. Why is it easier to play football in those boots rather than the stiletto heel that the ladies wear in? So I'd like you to answer that question on paper or on Google Documents and I'd like you to email it to your teacher. I hope you find today's lesson useful. Take care. See you next week.